nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, time for some cowboy caroms. Okay, let's start the game. Position play of the one ball. Goes to the three. Ah, I'm, I'm in front. Oh, this is going to be a very nice shot. Okay, so I'm going to hit the one ball thing with the five. So I can't make the carom into the, into the one ball, but I can make it into the three ball. So I'm going to push the one away from the pass, hit the three ball with the cue ball. Okay, very fine shot. Very fine shot. <laughs> That's the shot. That's, that was a very nice shot there. But that is those are the shots you can do if you have three balls and, and you play caroms. Here is a tough, very tough shot. I need to push out the ball from the pockets. I don't want them to be near. I try to hit the rail there, push the one ball away from the pocket, and at the same time hit the rail there, push the five away from the pocket. Okay. Tough shot now. No, I oof, at least at least I push the five away from the pocket. Later I need to push the one ball away from the pocket. I don't want it to be close. So the five ball will come back to the center of the table. So I can continue my caroms. And now I want the three ball to come closer to the side, to the center. There we go. And I went, went a little too far. But now I have an opportunity to push the push the one ball away from the pocket. Hit it, hit the bottom rail there. There you go, push it away from the pocket there. Because if you make a, make, make a ball in the pocket, you lose the game. And you don't want to lose the game. You don't want to lose the game. Should I go back and forth here, hit, hit the one ball thin? Either hit the five or the three ball, shoot hard. Whoa, I hit it straight on. I hit it straight on there. But now the cue ball is here on the wrong side of the, of the table. Wrong side. Oh, this is a tough shot. Oh, I need to, I have stuff behind me. I have stuff behind me. I can't do that. Here I hit it thin. Hit, either hit the five or the one ball. Okay. There you go, I hit the five. It's nice. I haven't missed a ball yet. I haven't missed a shot. Here, here, okay, on this shot, I use right spin to keep the one ball close to the pack, because if I use left spin, the one ball will come up this way, away from the other balls. But if I use right spin on the cue ball, it will do two things. One thing, it will throw the one ball closer to, to, to the bottom part of the table, and it will, the one ball will get left spin on it, so it will, uh, it will spin. When it will change the angle when it hits the rail and come closer to the other ball. And uh, now this shot is pointing like that. The one ball is pointing into that spot on the rail. And because I need to hit the left side of the one ball, I need to make a shot like that. Okay, so the one ball will be will be aimed into that diamond and because because I use right spin on the cue ball the one ball one ball will, will have left spin so instead of normally going this way the one ball will go that way closer to the balls okay. here I use a lot of right spin there you go you see it came it came below this line instead of going above the line so now the one ball is closer to the other balls Okay, here I will, I will play, uh, I will look at the angle uh, of here, that if I will go this way with the cue ball, one rail, two rails, I can either hit the three ball or, or I can hit the five ball, so I have a big, big area here where, where, the, cue, where the cue ball can travel, so I will, I will select, select that shot and at the same time I want the one ball to go around the table and come closer to the other balls, okay. I will do that. 
low rise speed. There you go. And the one ball came to the other side, to back to this side of the table, and I have a good good carom opportunity now. Very nice. Very nice here. Here, like I showed you before, I use right spin on the cue ball because otherwise the three ball will end up going to the wrong direction. That's why I use a lot of right spin on the cue ball here. Like that. It didn't go that way. It went. I will show you what would happen if I had used uh, if I had used left spin. What would happen if, if I use left spin? There you go, you see goes away, away to the other side of the table because I used le the wrong spin. If you use the correct spin, you can keep the, keep the ball in the same area of the table. Here I use right spin. Right spin, you see, it stayed below this, this line here. So the next uh, shots will become easier because the three, three is closer to them. So that's very, very good, useful, very useful thing to know. Here I, here I play position one rail, two rails. One ball should start near the center of the table and I will hit the five with the cue ball. Went a little too far, but yeah. Now comes a tricky shot here, okay. Because uh, here I will attempt to hit the one ball and I will go this way, hit the five with the cue ball. Cue ball comes here. If I miss the one ball, cue ball will hit there, there, and hit the three ball. So that that is my backup plan. So I select this uh, this path of the cue ball only because of the backup uh, three ball there. That's the only reason I should I choose this shot. Okay. That's the only reason I choose to shoot it this way. And I got a miss cue, of course. With the chopping cue. I want to use a lot of left spin. A lot of left spin on, on this shot. To get the, my mask is not straight. There you go. I couldn't see the, the left side of the table. Here I use left spin. Ah, oof. I went on the wrong side of the of the one ball. That was not my intention. Got to use more more left spin. There you go, more left spin. There you go. Now, now because I used the correct spin, I hit the three ball. Only because I selected the, the proper side spin, the exact amount of side spin I need, so that if I miss the one ball, I will hit the three ball. That's the exact. That's, that is why I needed so much left spin to, to create that angle from the rail, the correct angle. If I had used uh, too little left spin, I would have missed the three ball. Okay? So that's a very useful thing to know. And I kept the five ball close here, close to the three ball. Do I have recording space? Yeah, I have. Now I control the five ball, one rail, two rails, three rails, get close to the, to the one ball. And here, here, if I use left spin here, then the five ball will take this path and it, it will be too far away. But if I use right spin, I will throw the five so I will get a better, better angle, better angle from the third rail. So I will use low right, low. Yeah, that was not, that did not go good. If I had used, used left spin, a five ball would have ended up even worse. So I will do that again. I had to cut, use a little cut. I will do that again, I need to shoot harder this time and fuller. There you go. Yeah, now the five went to the other side of the table, like, very nice, and I will do it again. I put the balls closer. This is better, much better like that, okay. So yeah, if I use left spin, the five ball will go the wrong way, this way. If I use right spin, it, will, it should come towards the one ball. 
it. There you go. Like that. You see the spin I had on the cue ball there. Right spin of the cue ball gave left spin of the fine ball. So it went this way instead of going that way. Okay. I can do it again. It was so, it was tough when the cue ball was so far away from the five. I should uh, I I demonstrate better this way. And always when you use so much so much side spin, you need to chop the cue. Normally, when you play nine ball, you don't need to chop the cue so much because you don't need so much uh, extreme spin. But now you do when you make these shots. And there you go. You see, the five ball has left spin on it when the cue ball has right spin on it. And now we do it again. There you go. You change. It will go th towards the one ball there, very nice. And I will show you also with the wrong spin. If I had the wrong spin on, if I had the left spin, what would have been then? It would go come higher up there, but that is still, still quite close. I will show you, show it again. Left spin, like that, that is something you get with left spin. The fire goes in the wrong wrong direction here. Uh, you want the five five ball to come directly towards the one ball. And I will show it again with, with right spin. Right spin on the cue ball. Then the five will get left spin. You need to shoot, it, shoot a little harder so you can see it. Shoot a little harder. Shoot a little harder. There you go. Now, now it, you can see it has a, some spin on it, but if you shoot too hard, then the side spin of the five will not have effect. Okay, if you shoot too hard, so that's why you should need to shoot a little soft to get the five to have have that left spin. To have that, you see there, it has a left little left spin there. You can see that. And if you shoot too so, too hard, then the five will not have that the spin on it that you need and I'm going to sh then show you I'm going to show you that that if, if you shoot too hard with the with right spin on the cue ball the five will not have five five will not have so much on it and we do it again yeah so there you go. Now it it had a little side spin on it. It is different with different rails. How much they, how much each, each rail will grip? Okay, so miss you again. I'm get, now I'm now I'm getting a lot of miss cues again. Okay, I will do it again. There you see that you see, you see you see the spin it has, but uh, in the first few rails, first couple rails, the side spin will not have any effect if you shoot hard. You see on the third rail you see a lot of spin on the, on the five ball, and I will do the I will show it again. The third rail has the most side spin on it on the five ball. You, you saw that the first few rails did not. The first one or two rails did not have any any side spin on the five. It, 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 the, the five had side spin, but it didn't have any effect to, if you shoot hard into the rail. And now I will show you with the, the wrong spin, the left, left spin, what will happen with left spin. Yeah. The second rail had the effect. The, when I used left spin on the cue ball, the five ball had right spin on the second rail and it will it change the angle backwards, upwards. Instead of going naturally this way, the, the five ball changed the angle higher higher up here because of the right spin of the five ball on the second rail. So this is getting very, very, very complex depending on how hard you shoot. The, the other ball will take a different path depending on what kind of side spin you have on the cue ball. So very, very tough. Very tough, and it, if you shoot soft, the ball will 
behave very strangely, very differently. So that is something you need to really think about. Uh, uh, same same thing without without any ball. You use right spin on the cue ball. It will change the direction from the from the rail because the right spin will grab the rail there. But if you use left spin, left cue ball will take another path. Okay. So that's a very very tough, very advanced, uh, very advanced lesson for you here. So what you want to do is just do something in between there. I just use, use something in between. Didn't want to change too much of the second rail. I used just uh, just, uh, just a little bit of the uh, right spin, there, not extreme. Because if you use extreme spin, it is very very difficult to control, especially the second rail, the third rail, very tough to control. So here I will do the same shot again. I will just use a little bit of right spin. There you go. I didn't have so much uh, side spin on the third third rail, so the five ball went a little further away from the the one ball. But this is a very very tough con to control. I will do it again. One last time. Here I use a little more right spin, little more right spin. And I have to, yeah. And the more the more side spin you use, very important that you know this. The more side spin you use, the less speed you get on the ball. So you, so you need to shoot harder because of that reason. You need to shoot harder. And I will show it one last time. With shoot. You see, I, much energy was lost. When, when I used more side spin, okay? I, need to, I, I just need to do it one last time. I want to have good position. I just can't help. I can't help myself. I have to do it. I can't help myself. Yeah, and now I hit it too thin. I hit the five too thin because I got a deflection. When I use the right spin on the cue ball, uh, the harder you shoot, the more it will, the more uh, the cue ball will go to the side, the more deflection you get. So you need to keep the cue as level as possible, as possible when you do that. I hit the too thin again. I hit the too thin. You see, the more extreme side spin you use, the the more deflection you get of the of the cue of the shaft. Okay, that is better. There you go. That's a nice shot. Now the five ball got comes close to this one ball. I will, I will just take that. I will just accept this position I have now. That's a long, long, long lesson for you here. Yeah. Very long, and now, and I failed. I was, I was just doing the same shot over and over again, and when something new comes up. You play very bad, okay? If you attempt the same shot over and over again, you, you try something new, you are going to play very bad because of that. Okay, and then you can't do anything anymore. You, your, your skill is just, your skill is just gone. And you can't, so suddenly you can't do easy shots because you, you have been brainwashing yourself into doing those, uh, Doing the same shot over and over again, and then you can't do anything else. Okay, I, I will just try to continue anyway. Here's a tough shot. I used a stunning shot. I was a nine, 90 degree angle from the three ball, hit the one ball, and I want the three ball to hit the close to the pocket on the left side of the pocket and hit the rail there and come, come to, together with the file there. So, a stunning shot, like a stop shot with angle. There and I hit it too full. Hit that too full. I need to do it again. There you go. Now, yeah, three ball went close to the five there. Not perfect, but at least they are on the same side of the table. Yeah. Now comes a tough shot here. Whoa. I need to have a backup plan. I need to find the correct angles. 
what well, yeah I can see here now it's something very 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 crazy this kind of angle I hit the rail I hit the I hit the, I hit the one ball there on the right side I hit the rail there cue ball comes here if I miss the three ball I want the cue ball to go one rail two rails three rails four rails five rails around the table and hit the five so I'm going to use the correct speed to make that happen so I need to do it very hard so the cue ball will go one two three four five six six rails and hit the five ball so so this is a six rails uh, six rails uh, carom okay, yeah yeah now i hit the three ball there if i had missed the three ball you see what would have happened there i will show it again i will try to miss the three ball here and you can see that you can see the backup plan i have here that if i if i miss the three i want to hit the five seven rails okay seven rails there you go now i missed it there you go you see you see that is the stuff right there with speed ah little too soft you saw that when i missed the three pole cable went around the table into this direction and those are the shots you, you must uh, know you need to you need to prepare for that every shot you do just have a backup plan, have a backup plan. Now, whoops, something like that can happen as well. I hit the rail above here. Oh, that is nice. So you can, you, you could actually miss the three ball on this side of the three, go around the table, hit the extra rail, hit the five, or you could miss the three ball on the wrong side, on the other side, and, and, go, and go around the table and come this way with the cue ball hit the five. That was the lesson for you there. Uh, by using knowledge, you can, you, can do, you can do many, many nice things and have many backup plans. And you see that I, I wasn't really playing good at all. I, I just used backup plan. Backup plan. Always have a backup plan. If you miss a ball, you, you still hit the, 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 the other ball. And, and to be able to uh, make that backup plan available, you need to shoot harder. Sometimes you need to shoot harder and you need to use the correct spin on the cue ball to create an angle so that you will hit, hit the other ball uh, instead if you, if you miss the first ball. Okay, if, if you don't have any backup plan, if you just use any, any random, if you use random speed, random spin on the cue ball, just try to hope to hit the first ball you're going to fail okay you are it is not going to work in the long term you're going to lose the the games but if you play in a certain way that you have a backup plan and this can this can apply to anything in a pool like a safety a shot to nothing you play nine ball and you need to think about if you miss the shot what will happen okay do you have a backup plan okay so this is the end of the video and the next time goodbye there's nothing else in life than pool Play pool, play pool.